Warning, all electrical equipment should be handled by qualified electricians. Make sure to adhere to all local, national, and international safety laws when handling your equipment. Failure to do so could result in severe injury or even death. Fusing chart on the, in the manual, if I pull it up, it actually does it all based on part number. So when I pull up this part number on the side of my drive, it is ESV 371N01SXB. So then I just look that up here, ESV 371N01SXB. I follow that chart across to the right, and it says I have a couple options here. I can use a 16 amp fuse, I can use a 15 amp breaker, 15 amp fuse. It even gives me a recommended part number for my fuse, it recommends 14 gauge wire. And I mean, that's pretty much all I need to know. Now, the reason the fusing is a lot higher than the rated output current of the drive is because it's rated for overcurrent. So, recommended fuses, we usually recommend fast blow fuses. Um, that's going to be your ideal protection. Uh, obviously, a breaker is going to be a lot slower in reacting to an overcurrent situation. And standard fuses also can be a lot slower in reacting. The more time it takes for it to react, the, the more potential damage can be caused to the drive as a result of whatever the overcurrent is.